Hi. Now in mechanics you're going to come across problems where you've got a particle, say P, moving backwards and forwards along a line. Or you might even have a ball being thrown from a balcony and landing on the ground. Now all of these problems require something about displacement. Displacement S, that's the standard letter that we tend to use. So what do we mean by displacement? Well, if we set up a plus direction in the motion of the particle here, P, it can be either way, left or right. Let's take the positive direction to the right. So when the particle moves, say, to A, its displacement is plus 2 units, 2 metres in this case. Whereas if we go back to O again and move towards B, its displacement is minus one unit, minus one meter. Now what you don't want to do is confuse displacement with distance. Sometimes they'll be the same. Take for instance when our particle P moves to A. It's covered one, two meters and its displacement is two meters. But if it returns back to O, it's travelled a distance of four metres, two metres out, two metres back, but its displacement is zero. So suppose the particle P travels to A, out to C and back to B. What would be the distance that it's travelled and what would be the displacement? Well the distance travelled would clearly be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven metres and the displacement would be minus one meter. Now let's put the ball back in the balcony. Now when we throw a ball from a balcony, we tend to take the positive direction as being upwards. Not that you have to, but that tends to be the way that we do it. So when the ball is on the balcony, its displacement say is zero, and that would mean that when it reaches its maximum height, it's two, the distance travelled is two units, two metres in this case, then it comes back down, it's now travelled a distance of four metres, but the displacement is zero, and as it comes down towards the ground, when it hits the ground, the displacement is minus three, yet it's travelled seven metres. So it is important then to understand what we mean by the displacement S and how it differs from distance. It's only going to be the same thing if our particle never changes direction.